gledate prispevek Otprti mikrofon, Open Microfon. Danes se z nami posebni gost, direktor AXJ, ki pomeni Action for Justice, nevladne organizacije iz Združenih držav Amerike. Zanima ga predvsem zadeva okoli Melanije in pa rad bi razložil, kaj pomeni AXJ oziroma kakšno je poslanstvo te neprofitne nevladne organizacije. First of all, I would like to express uh, my greetings. Uh, welcome to Slovenia, Mr. John. Uh, I would say, uh, how do you feel Slovenia? Your first time here? Or... Uh, yes, thank you very much for the invitation. I'm honored to be a part of the Actions for Justice organization. I'm a member in the United States. Um, I'm very, very happy to be here in this beautiful weather, sunny day with a wonderful, wonderful blue sky above and uh, enjoying every part of my stay here in Slovenia. Uh, I hope it's a visit that continues and that we have more interaction between AXJ Slovenia and AXJ of the United States. Thank you very much. I will speak uh, for the uh, Slovenian. Prvo vprašanje za našega gosta je, kaj pomeni AXJ? news in kakšne poslanstvo te organizacije. So the first question that we have for you, Mr. John, is uh, you can explain to us what uh, the meaning of the AXJ, Action for Justice, and what is the purpose of this organization, uh, not only in Slovenia, but uh, we, we, we see that it's all over the world already, AXJ, presenting the people. Uh, yes, yes, uh, that's a very good question. Actions for Justice is what we call in the United States a grassroots organization, which means it's an organization that's come from the people. It's generated by the interest of the people. And basically how AXJ came about was originally a father's rights uh, movement where fathers were separated from their children due to many cases of divorce or separation due to work and they did not have the possibility of contacting their children and so we started working with fathers in different countries different cities and organizing as a network of fathers concerned about this and basically we're talking about a human rights organization where we protect civil and political rights and from that beginning back in 1998 I believe AXJ has slowly grown in every country and we hope every city in the world we hope to have about 5,000 uh, city members of AXJ in our network and we use the very simple uh, letters A for actions X for and J for justice axj.com on the internet. That's our main website. And then we've expanded to AXJ News or AXJ Social Networking, uh, depending on what exactly we want to do and what exactly a uh, group of civil and political rights we're concerned about. In bilo to v nasproti morda za vladno politiko ameriško, prištivno skriž z zakonom oziroma za, ste imeli kakšne probleme z vlado v Ameriji? Mm, so, uh, um, for your reports we see that you uh, talk about a lot of freedom of speech and about uh, government in the United States and uh, did you have any problems with the government? by all these comments and uh, all the things that you write about the United States government? Uh, yes, this has been one of the main objectives of the AXJ, uh, being that 
intermediary between the people and their government. Because many times the governments don't truly and honestly represent the people. Their interests are different. Their interests are segregated. Their interests uh, might be based on lobbying, which is very, very powerful in the United States. The lobbies control many of the political decisions taken in the United States, which ultimately affect the civil and political rights of American citizens. So therefore, that is our main concern at Actions for Justice. First of all, that we stay independent of any uh, pressure groups. Okay, we're totally an independent organization. We're founded by our members exclusively. Uh, we work for our members. And if there's one organization out there that has enemies, it's AXJ, especially from the mass media section, from the extreme left and the extreme right political uh, arenas, from any group that tries or attempts to pressure us. We consider ourselves to be the representatives of the people, the true representatives of the people. And like I say, we're grassroots. Uh, they uh te kandidaturi gospoda Donalda Trumpa i njegove ženi uh, Melani ali je uh, veliko američana u prvi slišala za Slovenijo tem ker so zvedeli da prihaja Melani iz Slovenije uh, uh, so uh, um, there is a candidate in the United States Donald Trump and uh, his wife is and she's from Slovenia so we are very uh, we want to know how many people uh, really do, you know, where is Slovenia and uh, what country is Slovenia before uh, this uh, election campaign uh, with Melania Trump. Oh, this is a very good question. And this is the purpose of my visit to Slovenia. Actually, my trip here was twofold. First and foremost, uh, we have received many complaints from the Slovenian people about civil and political rights violations. And we thank uh, AXJ Slovenia for taking an active role and taking charge as far as representing these people and these interests. So our first objective here is to come and to coordinate efforts in making sure that the Slovenian people have all their uh, civil and political rights uh, protected and defended and that we can somehow um, act, interact very closely with the government of Slovenia in making sure that these uh, rights are protected. And my second uh, objective and reason for coming to Slovenia is to get to know a little bit more about the country and the people where, yes, in fact, uh, Mr. Donald Trump's uh, candidacy uh, for the presidency of the federal government of the United States is coming up, the election is in November, and he has been married with a Slovenian. Uh, we don't, as an American people, know much about, first, the country of Slovenia. To us, it's, it's, we hear the name of Slovenia. It's coming up quite often now with Melania Trump, but many Americans don't know where to map it. Um, and that is why, personally, I wanted to come to Slovenia and uh, it myself be able to go back to the United States and explain a little bit about the history and culture of the Slovenian people. And in this uh, trip over here, uh, I'd like to get to know more about the country where Melania uh, Trump has grown up and lived for many years of her life and know more about uh, her culture and her past and be able to maybe put to rest all these concerns that the American people have from reading books that to me seem to be utter nonsense. Uh, from an organization point of view, anything that is not backed with true evidence is considered to be hearsay. Mm -hmm. And hearsay is something very dangerous, especially when it comes to civil and political rights violations. We have this problem in the United States and we have the problem worldwide where hearsay has somehow taken the place of true evidence and is taken as evidence and that should never happen that is very dangerous and used by regimes of the left and the right to exploit their position of power over the people 
and for these two reasons is why I am here in Slovenia uh, enjoying the sun. Let me nakratko vaše mnenje o obeh kandidatih. Prvo o zdravstvenom stanju gospe Hillary Clinton in o njenih sposobnostih za vladanje v Ameriki, kaj bi pomenilo izvolitev nje kot predsednice Amerike v cel svet in kaj pomeni, če bo izvolen gospod Donald Trump, ali ima karizmo rešiti migrantsko krizo, ter pač to svetovno globalno resesijo, v kateri smo se vsi znašli zaradi propada bank in prava. So there are two, two candidates in the United States, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. We would like to know your opinion about the candidate Hillary Clinton, about the health issues and what, would, what it means if she will win these elections for the United States and for the world. And then on the other hand, we have Donald Trump, Different candidate, and uh, he wants to resolve the immigration crisis that all the world is involved, <laughs> and also uh, he is talking a uh, lot about resolution on the economy problems in United States and all over the world. So, uh, what is your opinion about uh, these two candidates and the future that will be one or the other will be elected? Very good questions. Um, myself and our organization, we, like I say, try to stay independent uh, of all political activity. Uh, and yes, we have very two very strong candidates, uh, one on the, let's call it, the right wing of the United States, which is the Republican Party, Mr. Donald Trump, uh, who apparently is a very, very, very uh, successful businessman and his objectives of uh, running the federal government of the United States would be uh, first and foremost to perhaps make it more efficient, reduce the size, uh, and make the machine, let's say, in Washington be more productive, if it's a way to, to express this. And then on the other hand, we have a very aged and mature professional politician in Washington uh, Mrs. Hillary Clinton and her husband, uh, Bill Clinton, obviously, have been in the realm of the political power of the United States for many, many, many years. Uh, many people are saying that if Mrs. Clinton does win the election, it would be a continuation of the Obama uh, presidency. Uh, I think that's what most Americans think uh, and feel. Um, and because of these two different positions, uh, the political uh, power in the United States. We have on the one hand uh, Mrs. Hillary Clinton, which is a very well-established politician, um, and a continuation of a certain uh, uh, policies that have come about. And then we have what we call an underdog, which is a new, fresh candidate with fresh blood coming into Washington as the uh, Republican uh, Party uh, nominee um, with quite different ideas uh, regarding the situation of immigration and the economy, as you mentioned. Uh, dealing with immigration, we have the main concern at Actions for Justice uh, for the immigration situation, uh, not only in the United States, but immigration and immigration around the world. Um, we've had the crisis that we see in the United States uh, the Syrian crisis and the crisis going on in Europe specifically and in the United States Americans are very weary they're very afraid of what's happening with immigration the concern I think in the United States is more in the southern states uh, California Texas that have a great deal of immigration with a three thousand dollar I'm sorry three thousand uh, mile uh, border with Mexico and we have a great deal of immigration from Mexico. Mr. Trump uh, has brought around ideas of building a wall between the United States and Mexico. We really can't give you an opinion uh, as to whether this is a good or a bad idea. We know that Mr. Trump 
has flown down to Mexico and met with the President of Mexico to discuss this issue. Uh, we, as Actions for Justice, can only stand back and watch and make sure that no uh, civil or political rights are violated with immigration. Uh, and as far as uh, economy goes, like I say, Mr. Uh, Trump has ideas of somehow restarting the economy in the United States, making major changes, and uh, letting money flow easier than it has been in, in the past right now. With controls, I'm sure, but at least trying to get the economy in the United States started up again. Uh, while as Mrs. Clinton would be a continuation of the uh, Obama uh, policies up to now. Kako ću pravo razumam, menite da situacija u katerim se svet, pa tudi Amerika, znašla s to migrantsko krizo in tudi globalno finančno krizo, potrebuje radikalne rešitve in da pač politika, obstreča politika gospoda Obame in nadaljevanje z gospod Hillary Clinton ne bo prinesla pravih rešitev. We understand well, uh, you try to say that uh, if the Hillary Clinton win, it will be the continuation of the system of uh, President Obama, and uh, there will be no resolution of the global immigration crisis and also the financial crisis, if we understand you well. Uh, well, like I say, Actions for Justice has to stand, step back, and not get involved in any way in policies, but that is the feeling that we are uh, getting from the American people. And that's why there's so much interest right now in these, uh, this election, uh, because the American people are thinking to themselves, do we want to continue in the financial, uh, social, uh, situation that we are, political situation, or do we, is it time for a change? Do we want to change? Uh, has Mr. Trump been able to reach the American uh, people? Has he been able to uh, set forth his ideas and his concerns about immigration? Um, we can't express an opinion in that sense, but we can say we're, we always value actions more than words. Actions mean more than words, and actions are more powerful than words. And we've seen Mr. Trump get on the plane and go down and see the President of Mexico, and apparently it was a very, very successful trip. Uh, Mr. Trump is a hands-on uh, person. He likes to take uh, the bull by the horns and resolve the, the issues as they come before him. Thank you very much for this interview. I wish you a good time here in Slovenia and that we will see you soon again. Well, thank you so much again for, the, and it's been a pleasure for the invitation here to Slovenia. And like I say, I'm enjoying the climate, I'm enjoying the people, I'm enjoying the excellent food, and somehow I hope to be able to express to the American people what a beautiful country uh, Slovenia is. Thank you.